talking about the vitamins. Where is it absorbing it? Can you tell me? The dirt. Yes. In the dirt, yes. Where these live? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's the roots. Do you know where on your body you're absorbing mm -hmm. your nutrients? Mm -hmm. What part of your body? You can point to it. Where do you think? Your belly. Your belly. <laughs> right in here. It's the belly, your intestines, and we have to take really good care of those intestines. You put that white flour glue in your intestines, what's going to happen? <laughs> that poor little root is going to like sob all clogged up with paste. If you want to have a turn adding to this paste house, come on over. The white flour. Oh my god, yeah, with paper mache, oh, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it's really good for. And we didn't think of it when they said, now you go eat it. Now go eat it. Go eat it. Go eat it. Go eat your paste. <laughs> yeah. That's funny, right? Fabulous. Okay. We're going to be reading ingredients. When we read ingredients, you want ingredients on something that's either has a lot of ingredients or a little ingredients. This peanut butter has been made with peanuts, sugar, a little bit of molasses, fully hydrogenated vegetable oils, and some things you can't even pronounce, and some salt. And this is what's in this peanut butter. I thought peanut butter was made with peanuts, <laughs> and they just mushed it. Well, here is this partially hydrogenated vegetable oil. Now, you know when you take oil and your mom says, be careful, don't spill it, don't spill it, it's going to make a greasy mess in the kitchen. And it dribbles around, and it's actually kind of fun to dribble your hands in because it's so slippery. This is the partially hydro, this is fully hydrogenated vegetable oil. And this is not spilling, and it is not even coming out. You add this to your root system, this little root system in your tummy, in your belly, in your gut, with that white flour, and your root system isn't very happy, and it's really slowing you down. So you can't do those fun things you like to do, like play tag with your friend. Now over here, we've got an example of peanut butter, and it's made from organic roasted peanuts and salt just has a little bit of salt in it. Now, which one do you think is healthier? This one or the second one? What do you think? The Everybody? other one. The second one. The yeah. second one. You're right. The second one. Okay. Now I want you to scooch back. We're going to talk about some snacks over here. These snacks. And I want even grown-ups to own up to this one. <laughs> Raise your hands because my hand is raised. If you have eaten any of these snacks, my hand is raised for all of them. I have eaten a Teddy Graham or Graham cracker. I have eaten a Ritz cracker and a Ritz Fitz. I have eaten a goldfish. I eat goldfish. You eat goldfish too? I eat, I eat goldfish. And they say so I good, they're salty. Mm. And then how about some mini Oreos? I eat Look at those faces. Oreos. Okay. And how about eating maybe a cereal called a Fruit Loop? I eat Okay. We're going to talk about what's in them, okay? Remember? Okay, all of these actually have this, what did I call this stuff that we made that house with over there? What's this stuff called? White flour. Flour. The white flour, which is paste, it slows you down. When you're really, really hungry, mom says, okay, I'll give you a snack. And sometimes it's this, you're eating that white flour. You're also eating... Some sugar, the sugar, and perhaps quite a bit of salt if you've got these two. And then the white flour and this hydrogenated vegetable oil. It is to make sure that these things don't rot the way that would rot. 
before you've had a chance to eat it. So it can sit on a shelf. Now, you have that versus this as a snack. And I suggest using a muffin tin and spreading this all out so that you've got, here, can you tell me what we've got here? A little bit of apples. Anybody know what this is? Blueberries. Strawberries. These are prunes. Cranberries. Orange. Cucumbers. Celery. Broccoli. Tomato. Carrot. Snap. Now I want you to think about this. The apple has over 10,000 nutrients. Okay, here we've got 10,000 nutrients. Let's count by tens. 10,000 nutrients, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120,000 nutrients. Oh, 120,000 different nutrients, potentially. Do you think if I fed this to Grace and her friend, or this to Grace and her friend, when she has a play date, you think if she eats this, she's going to be playing for six minutes or six hours? Six hours! Because she's going to have so much energy. I'm going to give her this. Okay. Vanilla or... A yogurt. Here we've got the plainest yogurt other than plain, which is really sour. I have yogurt, vanilla, vanilla yogurt. Okay. You don't have the vanilla yogurt? You have a different kind? Yeah. I love vanilla yogurt. I have yogurt. strawberry yogurt. Strawberry is so delicious. Beware of the yogurt, though, moms and dads, because in the yogurt we have one, two, three, four, count with me, five, six teaspoons of sugar. Six. Who can tell me about these? What's in this? The, these are these are dried. These are in cans. What is it? Beans. beans. Who likes to eat beans? Oh, I love to eat Black beans. beans. Black beans so delicious. Black beans. Yes. No, I know. Okay. These. I only like to eat candy. You know, candy is very tasty. Mm -hmm. I know. But you're gonna have to. So honest, moms. It's so totally fine. But I only like chicken. From what? Oh, skin from the chicken? Yes, that's tasty too. <laughs> With the oils, we got the good oils and the not so good oils. This is some that's been in my closet for over three years, like the hamburger. And I want you to smell it and tell me if it reminds you of anything else that you smelled today. Do you like that smell? It smells like garbage. It smells like garbage? Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's take a big size. I did. I did the smell. Did we get the smell? They see. Smell that. If you have food that's been on a shelf, I'm going to start to smell that way. Definitely throw it out. We're going to talk about the good fats. Where we're going to find them? The answer is you're going to find it in the food. Avocado. How about this? It's got good oil in it. You know what that is? It's a fish, you're right. Who's allowed to eat nuts? You're not allowed to eat nuts. Okay, great. Who likes to eat nuts? Okay, super source of the good fats. Sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds. Who have more nutrients, more energy eating a vitamin or a piece of an apple? What do you think? 10,000 nutrients or 13? Which one's going to give you more? What do you think? Um, an apple. An apple, yes. Thank you. Good answer. Please eat the whole food. Yep. Hi, beautiful. She was a wonderful You're a healthy girl? My daughter. <laughs> oh, you see? Yeah. There you go. She's a dancer, too. She's there you go. You can see the glow of health. <laughs>